Well, hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are the 1st of July and so I thought it was the perfect time to rewind and go back in June and share with you my tops and my flops for this past month. So let's go! Okay, I'm gonna start with my least favorite product that way we can end <laughs> on a high note. Um, the first thing I'm going to mention is this Sunday Rain Bubble Bath. Now, I received this, I believe, in the beginning of June. I only used it once because it's been kind of hot uh, in the beginning of the month. Let's say the first couple of weeks of the month have been quite hot. And so taking a bath was out of the question. Uh, I did use this um, this past Sunday. Now, I do love the smell. It does smell like watermelon. I'm obsessed with watermelon at the moment. It just... It didn't make a lot of bubbles, honestly. When I take a bubble bath, I want the bubbles to be there and I want them to stay. It felt like with this, first of all, I put more than I was supposed to because I could tell that not much was happening. And even when I did, like once I got into my bathtub and I stayed there for a few minutes, it kind of you know, disappeared. Um, and I'm not the kind of person who can stay an hour in a bath as much as I like it. There always comes a point where I'm kind of bored in there. So yeah, I must say I'm a bit disappointed. This is still something I am going to use because it's my only bubble bath. And like I said, I love the smell. But yeah, it's just, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I was expecting a ton of bubbles and a relaxing feelings and it kind of went flat so yeah the next product i'm going to talk about is actually not a newer product this is something i've had for a while um i used it back then i remember really not liking it but i thought i still had it and so i thought you know what i must revisit this product and see really what I think. I'm talking about the uh, Brazilian Bud Buff from Sol de Janeiro. Now, again, the smell I love. This is my favorite smell of all time. Oh my god, I have the cream of uh, the same line. I have... Um, I used to have uh, a shower gel, which, oh my god, I loved so much. I wish I could drown in the smell all day, every day. The issue I have is really with the product itself. Okay, first of all, I don't know if you can tell. I'm sorry, this is kind of gross because I've used it. It's difficult to get the product out, honestly. And I don't know if you can tell the color, which I get this is, you know yellow as the packaging. I get their branding. I get where they wanted to go with this, but this is an ugly color. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it out loud. Like this and this product is just weird. It leaves this weird yellow water when you take a shower. It's a little bit gross. That's, I mean, I guess you could say it's kind of a detail. The issue I have is that I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. So it has, uh, it's a scrub, you know, it's a body scrub. So it has these very tiny blue little things. And it just seems like it's beads of plastic. Um, it's just not really doing much for my skin. I don't find it an enjoyable experience, despite the fact that I adore the smell. Um... It leaves, yes, like I said, this weird yellow color and those blue beads just stay in your bathtub. So yeah, this is just a product I don't like. Um, I don't like the results. I don't really see any results. I don't like the packaging. I feel like for such a thick formula, you need something else to dispense it. And yeah, there's really only the smell that I love. But I'm still not going to use it. So this really is a fail. The next product I'm going to talk about, I'm on the fence. Uh, this is the Skin Hero from Herborian. This is the Bare Skin Perfector 7 Days Transformation. This is not a bad 
product, which is why I'm a bit of on the fence about putting this in my flops of the month. I actually have this under my foundation. This isn't a product that I'm like, oh my god, it's I, I really don't like it. It's just... I was expecting more. I was expecting something to happen with this product and nothing really did. The first time I used it, I applied it on one side of my face at first and I watched my reflection in the mirror and I was like, yeah, okay, I feel like maybe it's doing something. It just wasn't enough. And at the end of the day, when you have this under your foundation, you don't really see a difference. You know what I mean? Um, and if you use this alone, it's really not doing enough to be used alone it, from my standpoint and with the way that my skin looks. I feel like if you have a very, very nice looking skin, then this can be a product that you put on and then, you know, you just wear this, no foundation, whatever, and it just gives a nice effect to the skin. Yeah, okay, sure. But if you're going to apply products on top of it, the results are they kind of disappear, you know what I mean? So really, what's the point? Like I said, it's not a bad product. I have it underneath my foundation today. I did use this uh, a bunch of times. I used it for seven days straight. Didn't see much of a difference, to be honest. So yeah, maybe I'm wearing this the wrong way. Um, and you're supposed to just wear this on its own. But like I said, I don't think I have the right skin for it. So that's going to be a disappointing product, let's say. And last but not least, I have this uh, She Glam liquid lipstick and lip gloss duo. Now, there's a bunch of She Glam products that, you know, are still kind of in the middle that I don't really know do I like them? Do I not like them? Are they just okay? For the most part, there was no product really that was like, oh my god, that's terrible, awful, stay away from it. Mostly because they're so affordable that it's like, okay, even if an eyeliner is not super pigmented, I mean, for the price you pay, still, this is not a bad product. Also, I feel like I haven't used them enough times to really give a proper um, review on them, a proper opinion. This, however, this I only tried once and I can tell you I really, really don't like it. Um, it's, it's crusty. That's what it is. I think that it's very, very drying. It's patchy. You can't really reapply. I told you in my She Glam review, I definitely messed up when it comes to the shade. That's totally my fault that's on me but honestly yeah even if you forget about the wrong shade selection it's just I really don't like the texture I don't like the feeling on your lips no 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 okay now moving on to the good products of this list the first thing I'm gonna mention is this Drunk Elephant TLC to Carry Baby Facial. Oh my god, this I... I have heard about this for quite a long time. I bought it on Cod Beauty. I bought a small size of it because even though a lot of people love this product, I still wanted to try it out and not go for the big boy. Uh, because this is kind of expensive, but this is amazing. This is really amazing. I've used it twice so far. Um, I actually use it again tomorrow, uh, because you're supposed to do this once a week. It tickles a little bit. You can definitely feel a slight tickle sensation, uh, but it's really nothing awful and I just love the way that my skin looks and feels after this. For sure, this I'm gonna purchase again. I, yeah, it's really, really great. Next up, I have uh, this brush. This is from It Cosmetics. This is the uh, Love is the Foundation brush. Okay, first of all, it's super cute. You know me, glitters, like anything like that, I love. This is really a great brush. I bought it again on Cult Beauty the same time I purchased this. Um, this was recommended by Kathleen Lights and Raw Beauty Christie. I've heard them talk about it for a very long time and I finally put my hands on this and I love it. 
I really, really love it. I almost haven't used my beauty blender in the past week. Uh, this is really, really, really great. I have nothing more to say. This is just a great foundation brush. Amazing. Next up, I have this Dior powder. I bought this because of Samantha March, or should I say thanks to Samantha March and my God, I'm so happy I did. This is, this is a miracle in a powder. Really, that's what it is. I feel like if your foundation is not looking nice, you apply this and it saves the day. If your bronzer or blush are not blending nice, you apply this and it's gonna save the day. This is, this is amazing, amazing. So this is, I forgot to say, this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder. I have the shade 2N. This is so great. The texture of it and the feel and the finish. I, I look airbrush. I look, I love it. I love, love, love it. I haven't used it every day because I've been trying to test out other products without this interfering because I feel like I could try a crappy foundation and then put this on top and be like well it's actually fine which you know it's not you know it's really not but this powder is just so great that it's it will make anything look good I feel like if you're not a fan of your other complexion products just get this and it will make anything look nice. Next up, I have this Kosas bronzer. This is uh, the soft bronze in the shade light. <gasps> this is, oh my God, gorgeous. This is a tad too light for me at the moment because I have quite of a tan going on, but I still use it and I love, love, love it. I'm usually not into shiny bronzer this definitely has a sheen to it i don't know if you can tell but it makes your skin look so gorgeous it gives you the most incredible glow and you know me when it comes to glow sometimes it's it's you know if it's too dewy it leans towards greasy for me but this is just this is gorgeous i've worn this a few days ago um and I believe I had no blush, no highlight. I basically only had this on the side of my face and foundation. Um, and still my skin looked amazing, amazing, amazing. This I actually got at the same time that I got the um, baby facial from Drunk Elephant and the brush from Ed Cosmetics. So definitely that whole purchase was a win. I honestly... I wish I had the medium shade to be able to use it now in a way that shows up more. I have this on my face today, but I feel like it's just, I'm not really doing it justice because I'm a bit more tan, but this product is, it's beautiful. It just looks gorgeous, gorgeous on the skin. Next up, I have this uh, brow gel from Nude Sticks. This is the uh, Brow Boost Plus Set Gel. XL. Um, this again was recommended by Kathleen Lights um, and I do like it. I still do uh, my uh, hair gel technique. I'm, I actually filmed a video doing it um, that will most likely be uploaded next week I believe so stay tuned for that um but I feel like this is a great alternative for when I don't want to spend too much time uh fixing my eyebrows um I do talk about it in that other video that you'll see next week but when I do my eyebrows using my um hair gel I have to do them first and it's definitely a bit more challenging to then apply foundation although it's not that big of a deal um but yeah so this i feel like it's a great way to just quickly you know go through your brows and fix them it's not gonna have the same super strong hold because that hair gel is like a super glue um but it really does hold the brows it really is great and the brush you can tell is very small so it's super practical it's really 
it's better than my um, ABH, which is a product I've loved for a long time. But this is definitely um, an amazing brow gel. Next up, I have this um, Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. This has been going around <laughs> on TikTok and whatnot for quite a long time. Um, I saw it at my supermarket, so I was like, fine, I'm going to grab it. Uh, it really is great. I have it. I have false lashes, so you can't really tell. But I've worn it in my last few videos, and it really, really is amazing. At first, I was a bit skeptical, mostly because of the brush. It's flexible, which is not something I love because I feel like I don't have a lot of control. And also it is small silicone bristles, which again, not my favorite kind. But this really is amazing at lengthening your lashes, curling them, volumizing them, and it really separates them. It's just, it's amazing. It's a really, really, really good mascara from the drugstore. Uh, I then have this eyeshadow palette. This probably comes as no surprise because I've been raving about this palette, um, especially in the beginning of the month where I did a couple of looks with it. Um, I really like it. Uh, I feel like it's a great palette to have. These colors are just exactly my kind of mood. I do have it on today as well. Um, I used the pink, the coral, and the green. I'm a bit worried because pressed pigment, uh, especially when they're pink or red, can stain your eyelids. So maybe this look is gonna stay here for a couple of days, but it's fine. Um, I really, really, really love these colors, honestly. I love the fact that there's a bunch of neutrals in there as well. I just really feel inspired when I look at it. I want to mix and match and I want to blend together all the shades and it's just it's really really a beautiful palette and definitely definitely glad that I discovered this brand and finally I have the um long lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra this is uh, a mini version I have for these um they were in a set uh, these are the two colors I'm wearing today. I have Bel Air and Sanibel, and it's really great. Um, I had heard about their uh, liquid lipstick formula for a while. Um, apparently, they were really amazing. And honestly, they are. They're not drying. They last a long time. Yeah, it's just a good liquid lipstick. And I know that right now, a lot of people are into glosses, and I actually have a gloss on top of this. But... A liquid lipstick, I feel like it's always a good option, especially if you wear a mask um, and, you know, if you want things to stay put on your lips. So, yeah, I'm glad to report that, indeed, the uh, Ofra liquid lipstick formula is really, really good. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel because it's free. So why wouldn't you? And I will see you guys next time. Bye.